What if I told you the answer to humanity's greatest energy challenge has been hiding in plain sight, floating silently in the world's oceans? No oil rigs, no drilling, no fracking, just seawater. And inside that seawater lies something extraordinary, enough uranium to power the planet for the next 170,000 years. That's not science fiction. That's not a futuristic dream. That's a scientific reality. And if humanity manages to crack the code of efficiently extracting uranium from seawater, it won't just change how we produce energy, it will completely transform the balance of global power. Because make no mistake, whoever wins the race to master seawater uranium extraction will not only dominate the energy markets of tomorrow, but also reshape geopolitics, security, and the very foundations of the global economy. Let's start with where we are. Right now, nuclear reactors, responsible for nearly 10% of the world's electricity, rely almost entirely on uranium mined from the Earth. That means digging deep into crustal ores, crushing rock, leaching chemicals, and hauling radioactive material across borders. Sounds messy? It is. Mining destroys ecosystems by tearing apart land, contaminating rivers, and leaving toxic scars that last for decades. Groundwater contamination is a recurring problem, poisoning communities near uranium mines. And perhaps most dangerously, uranium mining creates geopolitical leverage for the nations that control rich deposits. Some of these countries aren't exactly paragons of stability. So, while nuclear power is marketed as clean energy, the dirty truth is that its supply chain is far from green, or secure. But here's where the story takes a dramatic turn. For every atom of uranium trapped in the Earth's crust, there are over 1,000 atoms dissolved in seawater. Let that sink in. The oceans hold an estimated 4.5 billion tons of uranium. That's not just enough to power current nuclear reactors, it's enough to supply humanity with clean, stable energy for millennia. We are literally swimming in it. So why don't we just scoop it out? Because until now, it's been like trying to pull a teaspoon of sugar out of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. The concentration of uranium in seawater is extremely low, just 3.3 parts per billion. Traditional methods of extraction were hopelessly inefficient and too expensive, until now. At North China Electric Power University and Lanzhou University, a team of researchers has achieved something that could go down in history as a turning point for civilization. They've developed a new uranium sponge, a material that absorbs uranium ions out of seawater with 20 times the efficiency of anything we've seen before. At the heart of this innovation is a polymer called PAN, or polyacrylonitrile, infused with layered double hydroxides, or LDHs. Think of it as a nanotech fishing net, custom-engineered to catch uranium ions while ignoring all the other minerals and salts floating in the ocean. Here's how it works. First, fibers of this uranium sponge are submerged in seawater. Then, uranium ions latch onto the fibers, binding with their functional chemical groups. Once the sponge is saturated, it's pulled out, and the uranium is stripped off chemically. After that, the sponge is reused, up to seven cycles, with very little loss in performance. This isn't just faster, it's also more selective, meaning it picks uranium with surgical precision leaving behind other elements like calcium or magnesium, that precision is crucial for cost-effectiveness. If seawater uranium becomes mainstream, the implications are, honestly, staggering. Imagine thousands of advanced reactors, molten salt, thorium-based, or small modular reactors, running on uranium harvested straight from the ocean. These next-gen designs produce less waste, are meltdown resistant, and could provide virtually endless clean power. Now think about energy independence for all. Countries without uranium mines, like Japan, South Korea, or much of Europe, wouldn't have to rely on imports anymore. They could simply farm their own uranium offshore. Energy independence, for real, becomes a reality. And then there's always on, zero carbon power. Unlike solar or wind, nuclear energy isn't at the mercy of sunshine or wind gusts. It runs 24-7. Uranium from seawater could anchor a stable, zero-emission global grid. Plus, no more mining scars. Skipping the mining process would spare landscapes, prevent groundwater poisoning, and protect indigenous communities who are often displaced by mining projects. 
Of course, this isn't a magic wand. There are some real challenges ahead. To make this work, we'll need massive absorbent farms, kilometers of fiber mats soaking in the sea. These farms will need to be deployed, maintained, and regenerated at scale. And about cost. Today, uranium from seawater costs about $200 to $300 per kilogram, compared to $30 to $50 for mined uranium. But with the new 20 times efficiency leap, experts believe cost parity could be reached within a decade. Still, there are marine ecosystem risks. Deploying giant fiber farms in oceans raises big questions. How will marine life react? Will fibers release unwanted chemicals? Could ecosystems be disrupted? Then there's the geopolitics of the sea. The world has fought wars over oil fields. What happens when the most valuable resource is dissolved in the world's oceans? Expect disputes over territorial waters and exclusive economic zones. And finally, nuclear waste. Even seawater-based uranium still leaves behind radioactive waste after use. Storage and disposal remain unsolved challenges. The International Energy Agency says we must triple global nuclear capacity by the year 2050 if we want any shot at hitting climate targets. But nuclear power expansion has been stalled by public fear, supply shortages, and political battles. Uranium scarcity is a key bottleneck. This seawater breakthrough doesn't just unlock a new source of uranium, it kind of rewrites the rulebook for how we think about energy supply. For the first time, uranium could be considered a renewable-like resource, limited only by human ingenuity. Picture the near future. Floating offshore platforms lined with kilometers of absorbent fibers, quietly soaking up uranium from the ocean. Tankers shuttling the collected uranium to coastal reactors. The economics improve with every innovation. Once cost parity is reached, seawater uranium could replace mined uranium completely. By then, the ocean, not oil fields or coal seams, will be the beating heart of global energy security. If oil defined the 20th century, uranium from the sea could define the 21st. But unlike oil, it's cleaner, safer, and nearly limitless.